Hi, this is Dave Smith again from DJS Photography. This is another in the series of my black and white workflow, just showing how I go about making black and white uh, photographs uh, using film and film cameras. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen the detail of the medium format system that I use, the Fuji GX680 Mark II. I'm going to come back to that in future videos when we start shooting on these cameras. But I've moved over now to the 10x8 system. I'm going to do the same sort of things with that. I'm going to show you uh, loading the film. I'm going to show you the uh, basic overview of the camera and then we'll get to uh, the details. And it's here where I'm going to look at the movements in somewhat more detail than I did with the Fuji. Uh, and the Fuji has very similar movements, just not quite as extensive. So I think it's probably easier to see them on the 10 by 8 system. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start just by showing how to load film because it's so unbelievably easy. It'll only take us a minute or two. This is the dark slide. This is what the film sits in before it goes in the camera. And let me. Uh, open this right up. It has uh, dark lights, one on each side. So these large format holders, film holders, typically hold two sheets of film, one on each side. This bit in the middle is called the septum, separates the two. And on each side there's a little uh, flap there that opens up. And I, I, this has come off now because I've taken both slides out and that would be a bit unusual. Uh, but you can see how that works. So let's just put that to one side. Now there are two rails, you can just see them here and here. And there's a little indentation here that you can get your fingernail under to get the film out later. But when you're loading, you want your film to, f to go under those two rails. And remember, all this happens in darkness. So that's the... that's that lot. And then on here, you have on the dark side you have a white side to the strip and a black side to the strip. On the white side the piece that you hold has little uh, bumps raised here and here. On the dark side it's completely flat. So that just helps you feel which side is which when you're in the darkness. What I like to do, uh, and other people might do this differently, and the important thing is to be consistent. So what I like to do is keep the white side outermost when the film is unexposed. Now I take the dark slide out to expose the film, I turn it over, put it back in the other way and the black side shows to show that uh, it should be unloaded in darkness. It's, uh, it's now been exposed. That's how I use them. Other people might well do it the other way around. Okay, so let's see if we can just coax this thing uh, back together. Not too difficult. Uh, I'm going to be loading this, so I'm going to put my dark slides in, white strip uh, pointing out. There we go. So that's our one. And now that, that side is locked. And the other side, the white side pointing out, remember, because I'm about to load this with fresh film. I'm actually not going to use fresh film, I'm going to use an old piece of film that, uh, that, will, that wasn't working properly. Okay, so that's the dark slide reassembled. The piece of film I'm going to use is this. This is a very early image I took and I use x-ray film. And x-ray film has emulsion on both sides, so it's not keyed in the same way as standard film, which only has emulsion on one side. If you're using standard film, what you will have is along the top here to the right edge, there'll be a series of notches will be literally cut into the film. And the emulsion is facing you when those notches are at the top right. And that helps you to locate the right side of the film so that the emulsion faces uppermost. So it is the emulsion that's getting the light, as it were, first rather than having to go through the film layer. So when you're loading, you're in the dark room, you open this slide just slightly, pull that bit down, and you take your film, and this of course will come out of the 
dark bag inside the box that it comes in and I usually just uh, feel for that, so I feel where those pieces are and I let the film uh, sort of bow slightly and it will just it will just find its way under those rails that we talked about and slide that all the way in and close this, close the dark slide chamber loaded, it's really that simple and that's ready to go and we'll show you some uh, show you the idea of the shooting uh, a little bit later okay so I'm going to take that back out because uh, I will want to load this for real uh, a little bit later it just comes out like that in the dark of course straight into your developer easy as that okay so that's it for this one I will uh, show the camera next uh, and how we uh, start into using that. Thanks very much for watching.